Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to keep talking about the emotion detection, but using a different method, which is the USE, the Universal Sentence Encoder. If you ask yourself what the Universal Sentence Encoder is, a model that encodes text into a high dimensional with fixed vectors. It turns all the sentence into a dimensional vector and it can be used for a variety of uh, NLP tasks. It was developed by Google and the pre-trained model is available for free on TensorFlow Hub, which we are going to use today. The output of this model is 512 dimensional vector, which is represent the meaning of the input text. There is two main versions of the USE. One is transformer based and the second one is the DAN based. We're using the DAN based version which is the model that use the deep averaging network. It's a deep learning model, a deep learning architect, which is short for then. The USE model can be used for different tasks in NLB, including text classification, which kind of what we're doing today, semantic similarity or search, clustering, which is grouping, questions and answering, and machine transla translation, which translates from language to another. Unlike the traditional word embedding that we used, like glove and word vec, that generate vector for each word individually, the universal sentence encoder focused on the entire sentence itself or a short text, which make it better and useful for scenario where we understand when we try to understand the full meaning of the sentence and the context of it. Now we can understand what the universal sentence encoder mean, let's look out our code. First thing that we're going to do is installing TransferFlow and TransferFlow Hub with pandas. Then we're going to load our model. Here it is, TensorFlow in, the, in TensorFlow Hub. Here it is. If you click it, it will take you to here, to this page. You can read the overview and know about the, the family of the USE. Then I'm gonna load the data frame that I'm going to use, uh, and it's the same one that I used in the last two video, the ISER. And I'm gonna leave it also in the GitHub repo. And there is also one, but I cannot play with it. I didn't see it um, showing what I wanted to show is emotion detection. Uh, it, it doesn't, the restaurant review doesn't focus on the emotion detection. It, it, it focus on whether the review is, this is detected is liked or not. I give the, get the first rows. Then I create a small function. I call it sentence encoder. This sentence encoder function will take the entire column that you want to work on, which in our case is a text and it will create a list from it and send this list to our model that we loaded, which is the USE, and return these vectors to us. So I'm using it here, and it returned this dimensional vector over here. Okay, it's tensor in tensor uh, vector, so we have to convert it from TensorFlow tensor to NumPy array, which is what I did here in just one line, uh, doing train test split over here. Our X is the, of course, the sentence vector that we created from text and our Y axis is the emotions. And I'm doing 25 to 20% of test size. And here I'm using logistic regression from SQLearn and doing the fit. After it's done, it took like a minute, honestly, less than a minute. I'm doing the prediction of the model using the X text and getting the accuracy and classification report. So the classification report gave me that there is like almost 61%. It's decent, but it need more training actually to make it better. So it's straightforward, it's fast. There is nothing like major difficult about it like we did with the biased LSTM video. Uh, and we build here this model, functional model. I did test on it. This is with the, for the food, but let us run this one. Here, here is the scheme. Uh, and here it detected and I, it was actually, this is for the reviews restaurant. I don't need it. 
actually. But here I did this uh, emotion detection on it and it detected shame, which actually it is. Uh, and it was, I took it from the dataset and it, it should be shame and it got it correctly. So I made a couple of other algorithm, uh, SFM one. Uh, but it didn't get me the same result. It's almost good as logistic aggression. Then I did random forest. It wasn't that good. And uh, that's it. That's the video. This is what is universal sentence coder and how you can use it. And you can play with it. I'm going to leave exercise, of course. Uh, and all the code will be in the link in the GitHub review. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. See you in the next video.